Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. Some bad news. Some bad news, but what do you expect when you have uh, maybe uh, weak leaders? What do you expect? They could be bought easily. And uh, let me read you what this is all about. It's about Argentina. So, Reuters, June 1st, 2022. This is the title. Argentine president firms up attendance at Troubled America's Summit. Buenos Aires. Argentine president Alberto Fernandez confirmed he will attend the Summit of the Americas in Los Angeles this month in a call with U.S. President Joe Biden Wednesday. Fernandez's office said. But Anyway, Fernandez had pressured the United States in recent days to invite Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua to the summit, in line with other regional leaders, leaders like Mexico's Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, who said he would not attend unless all were invited. Uh, we should not forget that uh, Bolsonaro, president of uh, Brazil, said he is not going to attend, and he's attending. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting um, Obrador to do the same thing, and uh, that tells me the unity of the Latin America, which um, sometimes you, it makes you think that maybe they deserve that, this fate to be ruled by the Uncle Sam. They've been ruled, what, for past uh, what, 100 years at least, so why not? Why not continue? Uh, I don't know. Though these leaders, these leaders. Summit aimed at repairing relations between the United States and Latin America following Trump-era damage has been marred with problems as invitations from the United States slowly roll out. The United States is still hammering out a final guest list, senior U.S. officials said on Wednesday. Biden and his Argentine counterpart agreed on the call to discuss food security and energy transition, among other topics, according to a statement from the president's office. Following the conference in June, Fernandez is expected to return to the United States in July to meet one-on-one -on -one with Biden to tackle climate change. Oh, really? Renewable energy and human rights, his office said. That means he's going to be called and say, hey, you didn't do this, you didn't do this, you didn't do this, you didn't do this, you're a bad dude. Sanctions. <laughs> Man, it's unbelievable. Uh, that, that, that is disappointing, to me at least. I thought that, I thought that uh, and I really believed to a certain extent that these uh, Latin American uh, uh, leaders uh, have balls, but it seems like their balls uh, dropped on the, on, the, on the ground and were left behind somewhere a long time ago because they don't have them anymore. I don't know. And I'm disappointed with Bolsonaro the most. To be honest, I was surprised with the Mexico's Obrador and these Argentine just pop up like, oh, okay, look, look, man, they, they create a common front and creating a common front, you will be heard because you're going to be more than one. But they're going to be one on one. You have to be very strong to be one on one with the United States. But like this, there were at least three countries, at least three countries, plus three that they were excluded. That's six. And it was another country. I can't remember its name. Uh, there were like seven, at least seven countries who would have missed this, not 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 a, any countries, Brazil, Argentina, Mexico. These are big countries. And exclude Venezuela, Cuba, right? What is this? Is a, a, no unity, no unity. And then you're going to have uh, some uh, wind of change over there in South, uh, South, South America and Latin America. Well, nevertheless, what can I say? Um, these guys here in Washington, they're, they're laughing. They're laughing how easy it is to, uh, to I don't want to say convince, to make these guys come. It, it's so, no unity, no unity. And he, I don't want to be too, uh, I don't know, too, I don't want to be too negative on, on that, but I, I can't help uh, noticing the obvious. These countries, if you really want me to say it, were victims. All of them. 
at one point or another they were victims of some imperialist uh, or countries stronger than them that you know rule them and turn them into vassals vassal states and they instead of getting together and opposing the obvious uh, ruler at this point i'm not just you know the conversation front but to show unity they just one by one drop like flies you know bang 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 you don't even know why but you know why you know why because a lot of these guys are supported by the same uh, guys who are now they're calling them to come to los angeles anyway uh, i'm disappointed very disappointed very disappointed i'm waiting for obrador to come to go as well if these guys i don't think it's gonna but no unity well they deserve their faith thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just